of the Stop Lazy Cash Tip for Carrot. Today we're talking about the 50-30-20 rule of budgeting. The rule is all about how you divide your income so that you ensure you're meeting your expenses, saving, and also enjoying a bit as well. So as you can see on the screen in front of you, the most most of your income will go towards the essential living expenses. So this may be your rent, your mortgage, electricity, or other essential expenses. The next one is 30% of your expenses going towards fun and lifestyle events. So this may be having your morning coffee on your way to work, or going out and enjoying time with friends. And the last 20% goes towards your savings and or if you have debts, paying them down. So you can categorize your expenses into these three buckets. So the essentials, your financial goals, and your flexibilities of spending. So what's the benefit of the rule? Well, the benefit of the rule is that you get to reward yourself on an ongoing basis. Unlike a lot of other budgeting techniques, people start to lose momentum because they feel like they're sacrificing a lot. Whereas the rule allows people to still enjoy flexibility in their lifestyle, enjoying a coffee or going out with friends without sacrificing that. Another good part of the uh, another benefit for this is also that you get to pay down your existing debt with, the, with this plan. So you can split that savings into a smaller portion, so it may be 10% savings and 10% paying down debt. So you're building up that momentum and paying down that debt. Another benefit is you're reducing that potential overspending by having this rule in place because you're allocating out to expenses and lifestyle so that the, there is a defined guide there. One of the things I really like about this one is uh, you benefit from any overtime or bonuses that you achieve because you get to save some but you also get to spend some as well and that's really one of the things I like about this particular way of budgeting. And the, the last point that I'll make is that this is really only a guide and it can change to suit the individual's needs. So if you're not spending so much on living expenses and lifestyle, you can change it so that you're increasing your savings. And likewise, if your lifestyle, you're not spending so much in your lifestyle but you have increased living expenses, you can change that too. The, none of these are fixed and they can be changed to suit your needs and your goals over time. Is for educational purposes and before you make any decisions, you should always seek the advice of a financial professional. If you've enjoyed this video today, come visit us on Twitter, Facebook or at carrot.com.au.